Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So, as you can see, I'm showing a little bit more of the anvil this morning, um, and that's for a very good reason. Today, we're going to try and make a miniature version of this, which will probably, if I don't lose too much of the scale, come in at around about the two pound mark. Um, so I'm starting off with a piece of uh, wrought iron from a wagon axle, which is on the power axle right now, cutting, uh, which should be about seven centimeters by six centimeters by two and a half centimeters, so almost three inches by two and a half-ish by one. Now, the first thing to do is to forge that into a roughly rectangular shape, a little bit longer than the working face of the desired anvil. Um, so we've got some material to draw out for the horn and the heel. Now, as this is going to be a one-piece forging, I'm not welding on the feet, I'll be fullering in for the belly, um, and then chiseling in for the split between the feet, which you can't see in this, in this view, but I'll put up a, a photo in a moment. Um, now, I've been working this through and trying to figure out, hold on a moment, I don't have automatic um, coolant on the power axle. Um, so I've been trying to figure out the sequence of events because I want to build a slightly larger version than two pounds. I want it somewhere in the six to seven pounds. Um, but the first step is to get an idea of how to forge it out. Now I can't really find any literature on this, which is unfortunate. Um, so, for this one, we're going to forge it out to rough shape, so we've got almost to the point where we're ready to do the feet. We'll weld on the face. Not sure if I'll go out onto the horn or not. Probably go a little way. Um, and then once it's welded on, draw that out to form the horn. The heel will have drawn out and we'll weld tip to tail. Once we've got the face plate on, We'll flip it and then we'll fill her in for the, the belly and split the feet. I'm hoping that will get us to the end of this one. Um, and that'll give me an idea if the sequence is the right sequence. And then I can figure out whether or not to weld on the horn and the heel for the larger version or do a variant thereof. Um, so. Let's finish up cutting that piece of steel and um, get started. So we've got a little bit of drawing out to do and we've got to square it up as well. 
both of which will be done at welding heat, so it should take that little bit of delay out. end up at about 35 by 40 the bit. I'm going to make this the top so that this floor is welded under the steel plate.
doing. going to do when I come to do the legs, I'll start with my fullering chisel and that will spread that out and hopefully keep things going.
we're back driven over.
what I was looking for. Where's the weak spot? overhang. start spreading out the feet. I'm not sure how well this will go, but we're going to try our best. So we played in a little split. Just protect that tip. Ah! 
before we do that, let's just make sure it's not gaining too much weight around the waist. like it has.
Anneal. Okay, so this one is out of the annealing bucket. Um, it's come up quite nicely. The faceplate is well welded on. It's probably about four millimeters thick. It looks like it's about three millimeters, but it's because I've driven the. Uh, sorry, it's because I've driven the edge of the wrought iron up over the the weld seam itself. Um, zero that. And we are at 480 odd grams. I'm not sure if you can actually see that. Which gives us a weight of one pound and we're gonna do a little bit of filing and grinding on it so it will lose a little bit. Unfortunately, the feet didn't come out quite right. Um, but given it's the first go and I didn't weld on the feet but only forge them out, I, I wasn't expecting them to work out properly. So we'll finish it, we'll heat treat it, and um, then for the next iteration, um, it'll be slightly larger, but we'll weld on the feet, because I've now got an idea of the order of processes. Um, so, largely because I couldn't find any real literature on how these were made, um, I've had to kind of figure it out myself. And I think I've got a reasonable idea of that now. So, in the next video, we'll do the finishing um, and heat treat. And we may try and test it out, but I don't think so, because I've got no way to hold it down. So that's what I'm going to leave off. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. When you do, don't forget, ring the notification bell. So get out to your shop. Have some fun. Push your envelope. Figure something difficult out. But above all, stay safe and I'll catch you for the next one.